Now, Somali authorities have over the past week been dealing with yet another mass displacement of people as conflict raged in Las Anod, following intensified confrontation between Somaliland forces and SSC militias. The problem in Las Anod is that the clans have disagreed on which side to pay allegiance to. Security experts fear that the problem may distract authorities from fighting al-Shabaab, allowing the terrorists to infiltrate the area. Here's a report about what's happening in Somaliland. Authorities in Somaliland announced a unilateral ceasefire, but residents say skirmishes continue in and around the eastern city. The trouble is in Las Anod, a city which Somaliland and the Somali state of Puntland have disputed for years. But the city has been under Somaliland control. The Somaliland government accused clan militants of targeting its army facilities. In return, traditional elders accused Somaliland forces of invading the city and said the only way to restore peace was for the troops to leave. According to the UN, fighting has displaced over 80,000 people. Water and electricity have been cut off amid shelling. Somaliland's Interior Ministry, however, claims their troops acted in self-defense and the ceasefire announced is still holding and that their forces were not attacking, they were only defending themselves. And they are still in their positions. Local elders in Las Anod said health centers were attacked with mortars. It is unclear which side started the fighting, but it came a day after a committee of local leaders, religious scholars and civil society groups said in a statement that they did not recognize Somaliland's administration and wanted to rejoin Somalia. In October last year, lawmakers in Somalia's breakaway region of Somaliland extended President Muse Bihi Abdi's current term of office by two years ahead of its expiry in November. Somaliland's history of peaceful, credible elections and democratic transition sets it apart from southern Somalia. Somalia is racked with fighting between African Union-backed Somali forces and the Al-Qaeda-aligned Shabaab terrorists. Somaliland, a former British protectorate, won independence in 1960, but days later joined with Somalia. In 1991, after years of bitter war with the government in Mogadishu, it declared independence from the rest of the country and has long hoped for international recognition. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.